Hello everybody, this is Luis from Phone Arena. Chinese smartphone maker Oppo has turned in the new addition to its R series of smartphones, meet the Oppo R7. It enters our world just 7 months after the Oppo R5, which we fondly remember for its world record breaking thinness. The R7 though wants to be a universal crowd pleaser at a competitive price point. Beyond that, Oppo has set its sights high in the sky, but how close to the center target did it actually hit? It. This is what this review will establish. For one reason or another, Oppo's mid-ranger is sold in gold and silver finishes only. There is no black model, which is a shame. When it comes to stunning good looks though, the Oppo R7 isn't looking towards anything less than the Apple iPhone 6 and the HTC One M9 to compete with. You may be puzzled with this statement considering this is a $400 smartphone we're talking about. But the Oppo R7's design and build quality are a very close approximation and a flattering imitation of the aforementioned flagship's best traits. Up front, the rectangular R7 greets you with a 2.9D arc edge laminated screen that looks as if it's painted on the plastic front panel. Set panel is adorned by the front cam, earpiece and the combined light and proximity sensor on top. The bottom part houses the capacitive Android navigation keys. The R7's sides and back panel are all machined aluminum that's allegedly being put through 48 polishing processes prior to shipping. This is a unibody design but rather than keeping the sides completely clean like HTC or rounding them out like Apple, Oppo embellished them with two polished matte strips and kept the lines straight, sweeping the corners to prevent that uncomfortable rectangular slab feel in the hand. The back panel, however, is entirely flat and definitely doesn't feel as comfy as a curved panel does. Always fine and well thus far, but as the old saying goes, the devil is in the details. The power and volume keys, which are positioned to the left and right respectively, are a little wobbly and perhaps a tad thinner than needed. But still, these flaws do not compromise the overall experience and the button's tactile feedback feels pretty good. Measurements wise, the Oppo R7 is pretty tall, but reasonably wide and pleasantly slim. Its weight gives it a good heft without being overbearing or exceeding the average weight of a solidly built phone with a sizable display. In fact, the Oppo R7 is among the most reasonably sized metal smartphones you can buy today. The Oppo R7's dual SIM slot is positioned on its right side and gets unlocked with a metal pin. It can carry either two SIM cards, that is, one micro SIM and one nano SIM card cards simultaneously or one micro sim card and a micro SD card simultaneously. This means you have to choose between dual sim connectivity and the ability to expand your storage, as you can't have both at the same time. Other than the sim, SD slot and control buttons, the R7 sides have the 3.5mm headphone jack at the top and the micro USB port at the bottom, while the mono speaker is positioned on the back panel. Now let's have a word about the Oppo R7's 5 inch display. It's an AMOLED panel with a 1080p resolution resolution that racks up a pixel density of 441 pixels per inch. At first glance the screen is definitely a looker with its sharp visuals and punchy colors, but taking a look at our test measurements reveals that it isn't exactly flawless. At least you won't have to worry about scratching it though, as the pre-applied screen protector does a good job guarding it. First off, the panel achieves a very good minimum brightness level of 3 nits, making it great for bedtime viewing, but having only 292 nits of maximum brightness at disposal is decidedly poor. This makes the Oppo R7 screen difficult, though not impossible, to discern under bright sunlight. Moreover, the color temperature stands at 8162 kelvins, which is definitely on the colder side of Cowersville. The resulting bluish tint you'll notice isn't overwhelmingly distracting, but it's there. And paired with the subdued red hues, it becomes quite evident that the R7's display is more about beautiful lights than practical realism. The average gamma value of 2.14 adds to that impression. The various darker shades and the majority of lighter shades in the Oppo R7's on-screen image are represented mostly right, with a mild contrast boost from halfway across the spectrum making lighter shades appear a bit lighter than they really are. Thus, the display appears slightly more contrasty. As for color balance, our test results showed that the green and cyan shades in particular are rather overblown. The white point drifts into blue, red is a bit underrepresented and green is far from the reference values. While this doesn't sound very reassuring, for the most 
last part, the Oppo R7 screen flatters the eye with its tastefully boosted contrast and tolerable color balance. The image isn't washed out or overly contrasting and the annoying sickly green hue of other generation AMOLED screens is non-existent here. Being an AMOLED screen, the one on the Oppo R7 does exhibit a fair bit of brightness and color distortion when viewed at a 45 degree angle, but the panel still holds up well compared to the average IPS LCD screen. You can trust the Oppo R7 screen to remain clear and visible under all but the most extreme viewing angles. As a whole, we feel safe in assuming that all but the most demanding smartphone users out there will be pleased with the Oppo R7 screen. Having a word about the Oppo R7's interface brings us to the fact that the smartphone ships with Android KitKat, which is decidedly old news now that everyone's talking of Android M. But don't let that discourage you, because Oppo's ColorOS interface is jolly good fun. Like other Chinese user interfaces as of late, such as Xiaomi's MIUI, it borrows its essential design principles from Apple's iOS, both before and after the iOS 7 makeover. This is evident in aspects unnatural to Android, such as the lack of an up drawer, the odd bit of skeuomorphic elements here and there, the vertical card based app switching menu and the lively animations. Oppo is preserving Android's customization spirit with a team store that's waiting for you right at the central home screen. The place is thriving with pre-made teams that spice up your lock screen and home screen with new